Today we're going to take a look at how we can update our score on Build the Body app. Now as far as our design brief goes, one of the desired requirements is that any time one of our organ systems, such as the respiratory system, is placed on the correct placement, such as the respiratory system placement, then our score on our app should add 1. One of the additional features that we'll look at at this time is what happens if that organ system is placed in the incorrect position. If that occurs, then we should decrement our score by subtracting 1 from our score label. Now in order for our score label to be updated, we need to utilize the global score variable that we created in an earlier tutorial. So we're going to take a look at how we can do both incrementing and decrementing the score on our Build a Body app. So in order for this to happen, we do need to make sure that we have already created this global variable called score. And when our app actually starts, the score variable should be initialized to the number zero. So basically we're starting with a score of zero. From there we can manipulate that variable by adding or subtracting one to reflect the current value in our game. So in order to do this, we're gonna look at our touch up event handlers. We've already created a condition here, which is our if then else statement, which basically means if we have something that's true, then it's gonna do something. If it's not true, then our else statement is run. Here is where we're going to add our code in order to increment or decrement the score. So if we look at our if statement, we're calling our brain that if it collides with the brain placement, then the brain is going to move to the correct brain placement, X and Y coordinates, and that's where we want to be able to add one to our score. So how we're going to go ahead and do this is we're simply going to go to our variables and we're going to grab this set. And we're going to want to set our global score to add one. So we can take the global score plus our math drawer using our addition. And we can go back to our variables and get the global score. So this is going to get the current state of the variable. Whatever that variable is worth or at right now, it's going to take that. And we simply want to go ahead and just add one to it. Now where this is going to go is simply in that then statement. So what we're looking at is if the brain does collide with the brain placement, then we want to add one to it. Now we can do that for the rest of our event handlers now, or we can go ahead and complete the rest of this. So let's take a look at what we can do since we're already here. We're just going to simply duplicate that and we're going to add that bit of code into each of the other three event handlers that have the touch up. So now, if the digestive system collides with the digestive system placement, we should also see plus one. So again, we can go ahead and duplicate that. And we're going to go ahead and add that to our respiratory system. And duplicate it one more time, and we can add that to the urinary system. Now, all four of my placements should allow me to add one to the score when they actually collide with the correct placement. Now what you will notice is if we take the brain and drop it to the brain placement that my score label has not changed and that's going to be true for any of the four organ systems. Now that doesn't mean that the variable hasn't changed. Right now my variable is still sitting at plus four but we haven't represented it in the actual label yet. So in order for my label to reflect what the current value is we need to go ahead and update that actual value. So we're going to find my score label and in my score label, we need to set the score labels text and we're going to set that text to using a join block. And we're going to grab another text box here and in here, we're going to go ahead and type the word score colon and a space. And now we're going to say the score labels text should be score and we want to get the current value of our variable which is our score value variable. Now where this block is going to go is very important. We don't want to put this inside of that if then condition. We want to make sure that this goes on the outside. And the reason for that is it's going to run our condition, whether it be the then or the else statement, and then it will update the score. So again, now that I've gone ahead and done that, I can go and drop that into each of the other three remaining event handlers. Just make sure as you are dropping them in, you want to make sure that they do go outside that condition. 
Uh, very frequently, I will see that somebody might take that and drop it in that else. And then it's not going to work unless it's actually decrementing the score. So we do want to make sure that it's outside of that actual condition. Now, if we go back and take a look and let's refresh our companion here, we'll set everything back to its original state. What we'll see now is when we take the brain and drop it to the brain placement, that we're going to get a score of one. If we go ahead and take our digestive system, we should see plus two, urinary system plus three. But what we don't see is if I take one of my organ systems and put it in their incorrect position, it does return, but it doesn't actually subtract one from the score. If we go back up to the correct placement, we will see that it will add. So we want to find out how can we get that to decrement the score as well. So the way that we're going to do that is we're basically just going to go ahead and manipulate this set global score to get the global score plus one. And when we go ahead and duplicate that, all we're going to go ahead and do is remove that plus one. And what we'll do with that is change that to a minus one. So instead of adding one to the score, all we're going to do is go ahead and subtract one from the score. And again, you are going to need a couple of these. So you can go ahead and duplicate them, one for each event handler. Now where this is going to go is in the else statement, which means if it collides with the wrong placement, we want it to go back to its original placement, and now we want to be able to subtract one from that. So again, we can take them and drop them into each of the else statements on each of the four event handlers. Now by doing that, what that's going to leave us with is that we should be able to see both the score label increasing or decreasing depending on what happens on our app. So again, now if we take the brain and drag the brain to the brain placement, you will see that we get a plus one. You'll see that we take our respiratory system and let's place that in the wrong position. It's going to go back and now we have a minus one. And the reason we have a minus one is because right now we have our respiratory and urinary system kind of collided with one another. So they both went back to their original place. Again, if I put the respiratory in the right place, go to zero digestive system. And now let's try the urinary system. If we put it in the wrong spot, that is also decrementing score. So it's an easy way to go ahead and modify your touch up event handlers to basically update your variables, which in turn will actually change your score labels to show either the value increasing or decreasing.